we are doing an anti-haul in today's video talking about 10 of the absolute worst summer fashion trends that honestly you should probably just skip out on. Of course, at the end of the day, wear what you want, you do you. If you love them, that's great. But honestly, after spending 15 years in the fashion industry, I just feel like these are a no. And the first one that comes to mind that really has been bothering me is Rick Rack. Now, I don't know what is going on with Rick Rack. I feel like it's particularly like an Amazon fashion trend. If you go search, you'll see a bunch of clothes from last year, like the exact same styles, except the only different thing they did is add Rick Rack to it. And I don't know, it kind of looks like a craft project to me. For whatever reason, it just feels like somebody popped into Joanne's Hobby Lobby, grabbed some Rick Rack, took their hot glue gun, and there they have a new outfit. And I don't know, I just cannot with outfits that look like I made them myself. In general, I don't like to buy art, clothes, anything that it looks like I made it myself. And I feel like the thing with the Rick Rack is it just looks cheap. Mesh ballet flats are another no-go in my book. And this one might be controversial. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you actually like this trend or if you hate it as well. But I don't know, I just, I cannot with the barefoot, like see-through foot thing. It's like, I kind of feel like if you're gonna be barefoot, maybe be barefoot. If you're gonna wear sandals, wear sandals. If you're gonna cover them, cover them. But this like mesh thing, I, I don't know. It just really, really bothers me. That being said, it bothers me less in a heel for some reason. I don't know why, but like, as a flat, it's just, it just irks me a lot more than as a heel. And I don't know, this trend is just definitely not for me. I have a feeling that you're going to agree with me on this next denim trend. And the thing about denim trends is that I get it. We get bored. It's the reason that we're cycling away from skinny jeans and into the wide leg and the straight leg and all these different styles. And from that, somehow this barrel leg jean was born. And I mean, I don't know. I don't know enough things to say about this jean, except I feel like it's kind of silly. Like it's a cute trend, I guess. Don't spend a lot of money on this if you're going to get these. I don't know. They're just kind of, I mean, they make people look bow-legged. Like what else can I say? You're going to look bow-legged in these jeans. And if that's what you want, okay. If it's just like a fun, hot trend, fine. But there's no way that these are going to stand the test of time. And to be honest, I feel like they look a little bit silly. So if you've watched any of my trend videos before, you already know that wearing lingerie or bedroom type things outside is just not something I particularly love. We've had bras as tops, we've had visible bras, we've had slip dresses that basically look like 90s, and now we're wearing boxers as shorts outside. Listen, I actually already did this trend, which maybe that's why it's not for me this time around. I remember wearing them, just peeking out through your overalls, but never as like full on shorts. And I don't know, but for whatever reason, box shorts as full on shorts has taken over as like a huge summer fashion trend this season. I mean, I suppose that they are a little bit more relaxed than your tailored short that's been in for a while. And it's not quite a denim short, but I just feel like I've definitely grown out of the boxer short trend. Speaking of shorts, these micro mini shorts, these mini, skirts, these jundies, as some people are called them, which yes, as a jean underwear is definitely a no-go. Um, one, I'm too old for it. Two, I don't want to see anybody out in underwear. I mean, I suppose it's a little bit better than like the no pants trend, but it's still not really a pant. It's not wearable. It's not flattering. It's just definitely a no-go. I actually did see somebody wearing these out in the wild once. We had gone down to like a college town and I saw a young college student wearing these and it's exactly who I picture should be wearing them. They still look like underwear. I mean, my husband was like, what is this? And I'm like, it's a fashion trend. Um, this is what people are wearing now. And I don't even know if my kids notice, but I'm like, hey, don't look. But anyway, it's just a whole, it's a whole thing. And I think that you should just wear pants that cover things up and yeah, Jundies are just not gonna do it. If you want a good laugh, head over to Free People's Instagram. I'll highlight the specific post below if I can find it, but they did a post on a Jundies that they're selling and people in the comments just were hilarious. Like you're literally gonna die laughing, so definitely go check that out. We've talked a lot about clothing, but one really trendy shoe trend that we're seeing is super bright color blocked shoes, particularly like these Adidas super bright shoes. The gazelles are really in style right now. The Sambas are really, really in. And now we have all these funky color combinations. I'm not that surprised that we're seeing this because we're coming off a lot of white and neutrals and maybe people just want a pop of color and that's fine. But I just feel like this is one of those trends that is not gonna have any staying power. It's gonna be bold, it's gonna be loud. 
Uh, it's going to be hard to like integrate this into your wardrobe and what to style it with other than like basics. And I feel like it's something that you might get over quickly. So if you love it, by all means wear them, but this is definitely a trend that I'll be skipping out on. This next summer trend, I don't hate. And I actually kind of maybe can get used to it, but it's just not for me. And that is vests. Vests have taken every like social media by storm. I feel like everybody is wearing these really cute sleeveless tailored vests. I think I'm skipping out on it because it feels a little bit too structured for me. And like, you know, it's basically a sleeveless blazer. Blazers don't make their way into my wardrobe a whole lot. So that's more of a personal style choice than me hating them. I think they can look really cute on people, but I don't know, it feels very trend with a capital T for some reason. I'm not sure about the longevity of this. Although we have seen this in style in the past, I do think it could be great workwear too in the summer and dressy cute. I don't know. Maybe this means I have mixed feelings about it. I think that's the conclusion that we're coming to out loud as I talk about it. Like, I just think I have mixed feelings about it. Let me know if you like the vest trend or not. I just, I don't know. I feel like it's not for me, but I don't hate it either. This spring, I mentioned that Capri pants are on their way back and I am definitely seeing a whole lot more on them and have not changed my opinion on this. If you're not a short, if you're not a jean, it just, there's, the in-between is not good. I didn't even mean to rhyme that, <laughs> but it's just not great. I don't know. It's very, very hardly flattering on very few people. Of course, there's always some people who can pull off like absolutely anything, but it just cuts you off at a weird length on the leg. If you want something a little shorter, you can try a kick flare. You can try a longer trouser. You can try full pant. I don't know. I just... I can't recommend the Capri. I feel like it's not very flattering on very many people. Speaking of shorts that are like a super awkward length, Bermuda shorts, these jorts, this like extra long Bermuda short is another weird awkward length that literally flatters nobody. This is shorter than a Capri, but it's longer than a trouser. It's even longer than a Bermuda short. It's like this weird in between length and on, I'm, no, I'm sorry, like it's just a no. This does not look good on anybody. It is not figure flattering. I totally understand if you wanna try something new. That's why we have like different silhouettes to try. These weird in-between lengths, they are just not very flattering. So definitely a no-go in my book. Also experiment with different rises if you prefer. One that I don't that's coming back is the low rise. And I just, I don't see the over 40 set or the moms getting on board with these low rise jeans again, because man, I did really, really low rise with really, really crop topped. Of course I had a crazy flat stomach at that time. Didn't have kids before and it was great, it was fun. At this stage of my life, it's just a no. I want something high, I want something just a little bit more supportive, I guess I would say. And you know, it's just, it's just a no. Also creates muffin top, which is very, very good reason not to be wearing these pants all the time. I would love to know, by the way, if there's anything on this list that I missed, or if you disagree with me on any of these and you are loving in these trends, please sound off in the comments. Speaking of trends that you may love, I do have a whole video up here next on some of the best fashion trends that are in right now. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this and share it with a friend so I know to make more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye.